This is Twit. Hi, Leo. I uh, want to give, give you some kudos about Fracture. Okay, we should mention Fracture is a sponsor of some of the podcasts we do, not of the radio show, but they make a, a pretty neat product where they print your photos on glass. And a friend of mine, um, she uh, uh, was taking, made several trips to see their Sinai. Her husband uh, has cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. And in the uh, uh, waiting area, they've got a koi pond. And uh, she and her husband took a photograph of the koi pond. And as it turns out, her husband passed away. So this photo was very important to her. Oh, my. And uh, she shared the photo with me, and I used uh, Pixelmator and uh, Luminar to touch it up, fine-tune it, and uh, ordered the large uh, print on uh, Fracture. Which is really big. And it's poster-sized. Yes, when it came uh, on, when it was delivered, I didn't open it. I waited until I got to her office and showed and opened it up there. And she was just blown away. Oh, that's and nice. uh, for an hour, neither one of us could take our eyes oh. off. Oh, isn't it when you print on glass, there's something happens to that photo that really comes to life? Yeah, especially this one because the koi was. Uh, um, the koi pond itself had a black mm. bottom, and the, the the koi actually looked like they were floating in space. In the picture. Oh, neat. Yeah. Actually, oh, that's a plug not just for Fracture, but for Pixelmator and uh, what was the other program you used? Luminar. Luminar. Two, uh, two Mostly excellent I did it programs. On Pixelmator. Yeah. I, 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 with Pixelmator, I, I used uh, layers and multiply mode. To enhance it uh, after, I mean, to uh, make it pop a little bit more, make the blacks uh, pop, uh, you know, get uh, deeper black colors. We've talked Even about how uh, Adobe is kind of uh, upsetting some people, especially photographers, uh, by moving not only to the um, the subscription mode, but also heavily changing the user interface of Lightroom. Although I have to say, I'm I'm increasingly liking the new Lightroom. But a lot of people are looking at alternatives, and Pixelmator has been around for a while, both on iOS and on the Macintosh. In fact, they're doing a big update <clears throat> to Pixelmator. Comes out at the end of the month. Pixelmator Pro. This Pixelmator is a Pixelmator Pro. Yeah, yeah, this is a basically a Photoshop for a fraction of the cost. It's a very nice app. Uh, yeah, it is not available for Windows, alas. That that would be a nice thing. But uh, they've really done a very nice job, especially with their iOS app. I think. The, the Pixelmator Pro looks like a new user interface to make it seem more like uh, Lightroom, Lightroom or yeah. uh, Luminar and yep. Yep. Aurora. Uh, Everybody's got, yeah, and I love the Mac Fun stuff. Luminar and Aurora is really good, too. You're obviously a serious photographer because yeah. you're, you're paying attention no, to all this stuff. No, yeah. I'm just an amateur. But uh, uh, one thing about the Luminar is that each year they do a major update. And if you already own the product, it's only thirty nine dollars yeah. to get the new version. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, if you're a new purchaser, a new new customer to McFun, it's uh, sixty nine. I think once you're a user of any of their products, you get the discount. Uh, I'm crazy in love with Aurora and Luminar and Pixelmator. Aurora uh, is uh, is our friend Trey Ratcliffe worked on that with them. He'd say a high dynamic range or HDR. A filter that's very powerful, very sophisticated. And Luminar is kind of their Lightroom slash Photoshop uh, clone. The nice thing about Mac Fun stuff, despite the name, I think they're changing the name, is it works yeah, on are. Windows and Mac. Uh, I wish Pixelmator were available for Windows too, but I have to say this is this is what's happening, and it, this is why competition is a great thing because uh, and, and really it's come down more to software now because it's, uh, it costs less to do software than it does hardware. Um, we're really seeing some innovative stuff happening in software and apps particularly. And Pixelmator and uh, MacFun are really uh, leaders in the photo editing field. So thank you for that plug. And, th and I'll thank you on behalf of uh, our podcast sponsor, Fracture, because they, <laughs> they, I'm sure, were very, are very glad to hear that. Uh, in fact, I, if they have a, a thing where they share some of the best pictures that have been sent to Fracture. You should send them an email because I'd love to see that quite picture myself. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. 
Yeah, I should. Uh, it's a it's a very poignant, uh, uh, meaningful photo yeah. for her. Right. And I I just I was really amazed. I pumped up the resolution. It was shot on an iPhone six. Amazing. And wow. I used pixel meter to increase the resolution. Right. And it came out just gorgeous. Right. So thanks again to you and to to Fracture. They they made a oh. a very special moment. You know. Uh, that's and, very. That's very powerful. My condolences to your friend, but I'm glad that, that something uh, beautiful came out of it as well. That's nice. It sure did. Yeah. Thank you, Leo. My pleasure. Bye -bye. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, that's really uh, that's really great.